Hello YouTube and welcome Diecast family to a uh, a whole bunch of new Matchbox and this is probably the most new Matchbox I have ever bought out of the case. So they must have just put out a couple cases of all the new Matchbox when I stopped at Walmart this morning on my way home from work. So I got this 2003 Mini Cooper. Some of these I wasn't going to pick up, and I said, the heck with it, and ended up picking up a whole bunch of them. They have a lot of good release, or a lot of good castings in this newest Matchbox release. Surprising we don't get uh, rear tail lights with this one. Usually Matchbox always does headlight and tail lights. Especially since there ain't no side tempos or nothing. We get good front end detail with it though. Next one's going to be this 1969 BMW. As I knocked over the pile of cars. This one has an extra piece of plastic behind the casting. They don't always do that. Sticking with these German cars, we got a Porsche 914, 1971 Porsche 914, and it has an extra piece of plastic behind it to help protect it. It does have a plastic top, but we get good detail all around with it. Then we got a 2020 Honda E. Must be a little electric Honda car, I'm assuming. Never heard of it or seen it before, but it's a Honda. And it has headlight and tail light detail, so I picked it up. And... You do not get an extra piece of plastic with this one. The car smelled real plasticky when I opened it. Sometimes you get a heavy whiff of paint, but this time I got like a heavy whiff of plastic. Next one, we have a 1948 Willys Jeepster. Kind of like their park ranger green color. Next one's a really cool one. It's a 2019 Subaru Forester in green. Awesome, awesome headlight and tail light tampos. And only the vintage BMW and the vintage Porsche did we get an extra piece of plastic to protect the castings. So I don't know why they thought them two needed protected, but nothing else. Awesome little car for a buck. Absolutely love it. We got the 2019 Ford Mustang Coupe here in the Brembo. This one kind of had that plasticky smell too. It must be the white paint because they both had white paint. 
Next one's a Volkswagen GTI. That's a bummer we don't get no rear detail with the Mustang. In this, you get the piece of plastic to protect it. Very cool little Volkswagen GTI, though. And I had to pick up the Poop King because uh, porta potties are actually pretty much too scale. So if you detailed them and put them in a diorama or in a display, they're pretty much to scale and they do come out. They are removable. And I like the lime green. So thought they looked pretty cool. I'll take them. Oh, tailgate don't come down. Looks like it could, though. A dollar for a couple porta potties put in the display somewhere. Not a bad deal. Toyota Helix pickup. Get an extra piece of plastic to protect that one. Really nice looking paint on this one. Really nice looking paint. And detail. Really nice looking casting for one dollar. You can't beat it. Next one's going to be a 2016 Ford Interceptor Utility. And the black and white paint scheme, which I'm a big sucker for the black and white paint scheme. I'll pick it up every time I find it. This one has an extra piece of plastic in it, which I can understand it be to protect the side detail. Really nice looking police car for $1.00. Their SUVs are way underscaled, but they work all together. Next, we got a 1934 Chevy Master Coupe. I almost think this was a police car at one time. Well, at least half of them had an extra piece of plastic to protect them. Because this one did too. I like how you don't get headlight detail with this. Not really, kind of. You can kind of see. You get it on the side. It kind of gives it the illusion. But it doesn't wrap all the way around. Really cool. I really like the color of this. Be cool to have one of these and uh, weather it. Should have picked up an extra one that I could have practiced weathering on. If I find another one, maybe I will pick it up so I can practice weathering. Because... Something like this will look cool, weathered, sitting outside a barn or something. And the last one I got is going to be the 62 Mercedes-Benz 220 SE. And it's really awesome blue. <laughs> and I'm not sure, but if I would have to say any of these would get hoarded. Or be desirable out of this case, it'd be this one. Which, they don't give you an extra piece of plastic for protection with this either. But, I don't know why, I just have a feeling if any of them got hoarded out of this case, it'd be that one right there. But I could be wrong. Really awesome looking car though. Happy to add all these to the diecast collection. 
I don't think Matchbox comes out with a whole lot of cars every year. Let me know how many different releases Matchbox has. Because they don't come out with nearly the amount that Hot Wheels does. Plus, they never have, like, special sets or anything like that. Hardly ever. They might come out with, like, a Jeep extra set or a truck set or something, but not very often. Not like Hot Wheels does. Well, thanks for watching, and have an awesome day.